Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela, and in today's video, I want to show you guys how to do the neckline embroidery um, with the Milko MT 16 x or any pretty much embroidery machine that you do have that has like the laser on it. So like the little laser dot that you can trace with. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna need that. I mean, I guess technically you could try to like pull the needle down if your machine doesn't have a laser, but as long as you have a laser, this tutorial will work for you. It's like Saturday morning before eight o'clock, so came in here just to record some videos for you guys. I'm just gonna be changing my shirts. This shirt I made, this is a sublimation shirt, AJ Blank's adult sublimation. This is the lavender color. It says freezing to death. Um, so I just wanna go ahead and get right into the video. I will also be using and Brilliance uh, Essentials and a Stitch Artist level. I'm not sure exactly which level it is, but it's the one that allows you to take a picture and drag it into um, your software. Now, Brilliance Essentials, there'll be a link down below. It works for Mac and PC uh, computers. It's what I really pretty much use to change colors on all my embroidery designs, stuff like that. Um, so if you're looking for a software where you can buy like designs off Etsy, change colors, add names, and Brilliance Essentials is for you. Um, now, you don't need to have the Stitch Artist feature, but um, for the easiness, the ease of this video, I will be using it because I could just take a picture and add it in. Now you could try to wing the curve if you want. All right, so I have a t-shirt for Riley here. I'm gonna make her and I matching. They're lavender-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna put her name right here, say Riley. And then on the sweatshirt, I'm gonna put my name right here. Obviously, y'all know my name, Angela. Um, but to do that, to make sure the arch of the lettering is perfect, I'm just gonna take a photo on my phone of the neckline. And same with this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and upload them. This is what it looks like. And upload them to uh, in Brilliance, and then we will make the font and stuff from there. I do have Stitch Artist all the way to level three. Not exactly sure which level this is. So I'm gonna click create design, click on the image, and I'm going to bring in the t-shirt. Let it load. And here is the t-shirt. And I'm gonna click on the text and type in Riley. The font I'm gonna use is Stitchtopia Unicorn. And I'm just gonna do one inch, maybe I'll do a capital R for her. All right, capital R, move it over. And I am going to choose this circle right here. I'm gonna click to place the curve on the bottom. And this like adjusts like how wide, if you wanna go the other way. But this looks fine to me. I want to click the space to move the letters out. I am also going to move this over a tad bit so that it curves. Now the picture is obviously a lot smaller, but the arch is still the arch. Um, so I'm thinking like right here, let's see if I curve it in a little bit more, move this over and turn this like that. So I think that would be pretty cute. Again, this is only gonna be an inch. Um, so you do have to like play with it to see like what size you like. Inch to me is a good size. Riley is a size 12, so it's almost like an adult small. So size wise, I think this would be good for her. Um, if you want it curved more, sorry, it's freezing. You can curve it some more and just move the letters out. But because this is like a cursive font, I don't want them too far apart. You can also like hide your picture so you don't see it. So then you can see like the word is actually curved. I know it's harder to see with this on the, with the picture visible. So just mentioning that. And then what I would do is I will go ahead and print out this design file print. And I'm just gonna print page one and choose the correct printer and print it. So now for the next one, I'm gonna delete this one and I am going to upload the picture of my sweatshirt. I am, click on the letters and I'm gonna change it to 
Angela. And it's still curved. Where's my green dot to move this? I think I still like the one inch size anyways. I think this will be fine. Just the same curve picture. Cause even looking at the picture, the curve looks good anyways. So I will just go ahead. Oh, let me get out of here. That's why, that's why things aren't there. Cause realistically this picture, the real neckline is about this big. You can measure it if you want. Um, in person and then drag it out in the software to make sure like from edge to edge it is the same size as it is in person that is also an option again I don't want mine too big so like I don't know if I have a measuring thing in here I do. all right so in person from seam to seam it is about nine inches. So on the top of Embrilliance, you have a toolbar, the measurement tool. So this is four to four, so that's eight inches. So it it's actually a bit bigger than this. It's almost, it's a little bit past nine inches, which would be realistically, I measured from like right here to right here for nine inches. So this is eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would end here. So I have to drag it some more. What's yours? Sorry, I had to sneeze. All right. Let me move the photo down. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oops, oops. Fail and oh lord. Let me zoom out a little bit. Alright. Let me move it to four. I need to go to the five. So it's too big. Need it to be like this. Alright. So now let me zoom into the neckline. So this is four. This is and a half. So one. Okay, now it's at four. Two, five. Coolio, coolio. So, this is realistically how big this is going to be on the neckline. This design is three inches by two inches. It'll be two inches. So, maybe I'll go up to an inch and a half. All right, that's better. So, I'll just... Let me uncurve it just a little bit oops wrong way all right like that seems decent to me so i want it to be similar to that size um and then we will go ahead and file print this design all right so we have the cutouts and you see this cross hair right here it prints with it and i'm gonna line the laser up right to the center of this crosshair. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. All right, so I have this one cut out and I wanna place it exactly how I want it to embroider. So let me zoom in. All right, so I want the name to be about right here. So it curves with the neckline and it's in a good place. It's off to the right a little bit. This doesn't have to be straight up like this. You can move it however you want. Um, like I said, like this seems good to me. As long as the crosshairs line up, this is where you're gonna place the laser. Now, normally, no, I would not use tape. I'd probably just use a uh, needle, but I don't wanna mess up anybody else's machine. So I just placed this piece of tape right here. So we have our uh, five and a half inch mighty hoop, eight and a half, eight inch uh, cutaway stabilizer from All Stitch, the backing holder from Mighty Hoop, and here is Riley's shirt. I'm gonna lay it flat. Put the hoop in, and I really want to like try to get the name 
the design to be like in the center of the hoop that way there's more stability and I hope y'all can even see this and it's not too blurry all right hold on let me check all right yeah y'all can see that so again I'm trying to make sure it's straight again I'm just gonna line up the laser to the center crosshair I'm gonna put the hoop on and then I'm gonna make sure it's tight and not like super loose we'll take the backing holder out all right so I want to make sure it's not super loose and I'm gonna go ahead it's not and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the machine after seeing this one I don't like the size of this. I think this one is gonna to be too big, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, print out a one inch version. All right, so here's the one inch version. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. I think if my name wasn't as long as it is, then the one and a half inch would have been fine, but it was just too big. So I'm gonna do this part again. <clears throat> yeah, this is better. I'm a more minimalistic type person. And I think this is a good spot. Tape. Tape. And same thing, five and a half inch. Ooh, mighty hoop. The stabilizer, backing holder. I'm gonna put it in. And again, I want it kind of like centered ish in the hoop so that there's space on both sides. And to me, that just makes it more stable. Maybe that's just the Angela thing. It may not be a real thing. But... And then hoop it. And I could see right now that it is a little bit loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull. We'll take the backing holder out first. And pull it to tighten it, so that way we are good to go. All right, and it is tight. So they are both ready for the machine. All right, so I uploaded the design to the software, and now what I'm gonna do is use my laser. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see if I zoom in and move y'all down. I don't know if you'll be able to see the laser. I don't know if you'll even see that. But the laser currently is like right here. So I'm going to line the laser up with the center point. So literally right in the bullseye. Let's see over a little bit. And all right. And all I got to do now is push start and pull this off. Fail. I taped, I taped this. Two. The hoop, I hooped it under the tape, so let me rip that off. Okay. All right, cool. And we will push start. Right now for Riley shirt, we are going to again line the laser up. Move it to the left and up till the laser is at the bullseye, which it is, and then we just push start on this one as well.
All right, so now I'm just gonna clean up <clears throat> the threads on the back with all my big scissors. And I like to cut as close as possible to my designs. And that's what the back will look like. And keep in mind, you can put tenor touch on top of it to, uh, so it doesn't bother the child's skin. And let me cut this piece of thread right here. All right, so here is how Riley's shirt came out. And then let me cut mine. And here is how mine came out. Let me go ahead and throw this on real quick. <clears throat> All right, so that is, uh, don't mind my crusty lips. That is how it came out. Back up. I think it came out so cute. What do y'all think? It's so uh, minimalist and professional. It's super cute, I like it. I think the arch is like, <clears throat> not gonna say perfect, but I really like it. And again, here is a close up of Riley's. It's hard to see. Comparing, this looks so much darker, because it, it is. These kids shirts are on ajblanks.com. If you wanna get them, we have them in aqua pink, white, um, gray, black, so you can definitely do mommy and me matching in different colors, whether you want to get yourself a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, like I did, because I'm a sweatshirt type of person. Um, but yeah, sorry about like the software glitching and being very slow and annoying, but I hope you were able to follow along at least a little bit in the software. Um, again, these are both the one inch uh, Stitchtopia Unicorn Magic font. Um, so you can get that from sistopia.com. Maybe I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, if this helped at all, um, and if you enjoyed, please give the video a thumbs up. I'm gonna head off to record my next video because this baby is due in a few weeks. So I want you guys to have something before I go at my AA. I know I've been MIA already, but like it'll be worse because I'm having a newborn. So there's this video and then the next video. I'll probably just wear this for the next video. It's cool. All right, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.